Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today's mistake comes from a notebook entry on a site called italki. Italki is a language learning website and one of the things that you can do there is do some writing in what they call a notebook on that site and other people can correct your writing. I read one entry by a Russian girl who was introducing herself and she said she was learning English because she wanted to communicate and she said it'll be need for my future work I think. You can't say it will be need. You could say it will be needed for my future work or I will need it for my future work. You could also use the word necessary. It'll be necessary for my future work. The site I recommend today is called WordSpy. WordSpy says it's the word lover's guide to new words. The site has definitions of new words with examples of how the words are being used and it also has a Twitter feed for each word so you can see how the word is being used in tweets. A recent entry was edupunk. I'd never heard of this word before but I quite like it. Have you heard it before? Can you guess what it means? This is the definition. An education reform movement that eschews traditional teaching tools in favour of internet-based learning and other high-tech methods. Eschew is a formal word which means to deliberately avoid or keep away from something. Kia ora in sick news today, a flight attendant in New York made a dramatic emergency exit after a piece of luggage hit him in the head. Stephen Slater is a 39-year-old flight attendant. On Monday, after a flight landed and passengers were waiting to get off the plane, a passenger stood up and started getting luggage out of the overhead bins. Apparently, the passenger swore at Stephen and he lost the plot. He got on the public address system and swore at everyone. Then he grabbed some beer, activated the inflatable evacuation slide and slid off the plane. Stephen Slater then drove home and was arrested shortly afterwards. He was charged with criminal mischief and reckless endangerment. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 11th of August Kia ora. Today's word is speako. This is another word from WordSpy. Do you know what a typo is? A typo is a small mistake in a typed or printed text. And it's not a mistake that you make when you're learning a language, it's just a small mistake that you make when you're typing. So speako is the equivalent for oral mistakes and their definition is an error in speaking especially when dictating to a voice recognition system. Have you made any speakos today? That guy's an idiot. Yeah, it's his job to deal with difficult customers. I don't see why people think he's a hero. For jumping out of the plane. True. It's a pretty funny story though. I guess it's partly because lots of people have fantasized about quitting their job dramatically like that. A person who expresses indifference or apathy towards something. A. Edupunk. B. Messier, C. Quirty Tummy, D. Rep Surfing, E. Speako. Messier, a stomach illness caused by typing on a germ ridden keyboard. Quirty Tummy, phoning a customer service line repeatedly until you get a representative who is willing to handle your request, such as authorizing a refund. Rep surfing, an error in speaking, especially when dictating to a voice recognition system. Speaker, 
an education reform movement that eschews traditional teaching tools in favour of internet-based learning and other high-tech methods. EduPunk. And that was The Daily Engisher. If you have any sites to suggest for Click Here, please leave a comment or send us an email, thedailyenglishshow at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.